Happy Saturday, you guys. Hope you're having a good weekend today. It's gonna be a great day. 21.59 for you guys today. But before we get to that, we're gonna move into our warm up and work set first off. So we have a sumo squat, three reps at a three, one, three tempo. So again, opening up those hips and legs, getting things fired up first things first. Side lunge for 10, alternating into a back lunge for 10, alternating. Again, sticking with those legs, figuring out how things are feeling after the week we've had and just opening up that tissue. After that, we're gonna work some balance, side scale raise for three aside, and front scale raise for three aside. And then we'll repeat that sequence for two to three rounds and work through that, firing up those quads and glutes, getting everything ready for what's to come. After that, inchworm push up for three to five reps. We'll show you a couple different variations for that. Then we're gonna finish off with a dynamic triangle for three to side and a narrow stance squat hold for 20 seconds or a cumulative 20 second hold. Two rounds there, and then you're going to finish off with a little piece here, a little extra couplet, dumbbell pause front squat for three at a three second hold in the bottom, and then you're going to take down that nice dumbbell thruster for three. Just kind of get yourself fired up, ready for the work set, feeling out that overhead a little bit, and then moving into the workout, which consists of three exercises. 21, 15, 9, you will do 21 dumbbell thrusters, 21 high pulls, and then 21 burpees. You'll then move into 15, 15, 15, 9, 9, 9, done, all right? So our exercises are the dumbbell thruster, dumbbell high pull, or pullover. They give you two options there. You can choose which one you want, and then a burpee. So it's going to be a great cardio experience, a little shoulder burner, tricep burner, but looking forward to sending you into the weekend the right way, all right? Let's get you warmed up, ready for action. Alright guys, let's get those feet under the hips. We're gonna take the arms big and tall. We're just gonna add a little shrug in there. We'll pull the shoulders back down. We'll reach to one side. We'll come back up. We'll reach to the other side. Oh yeah. Take those hands out to the T. Turn them in. Turn them out. Turn them in. And out. And in. And out. Big stretch. Little shrug. And a forward fold. We'll touch those toes. Up the shins, nice flat back. We're gonna come down, framing a foot. We'll step it back into your lizard. We're gonna lower the knee, press the hip, come back to center, press the hip, back to center, and press the hip, back to center. We'll step back with that leg, or straighten that leg, sorry. Then we're gonna straighten the front leg, plant the foot, straighten the front leg, plant the foot, and straighten the front leg. Stepping back into our down dog, setting up those shoulders, holding for a beat or two, coming back into your plank, stepping the other foot up. We're gonna lower the back knee, we're gonna press the hip, we'll come back to center, press the hip to center, press the hip back to center. Straightening out that leg, we're gonna straighten the front leg, plant the foot, straighten the front leg, plant the foot. Straighten the front leg and plant the foot. We'll step back into that down dog. Reaching those hips back, walk the heels out a few times. Make sure those ankles and calves feel good today. And then from there, we'll come back into our plank. Tiptoe those feet all the way up. We're gonna roll ourselves up. Big stretch. Little shrug. Little reach. And a reach. Get you guys fired up and ready. If you like to do some gentle warm up still, pause the video, take it down for yourself, show your body whatever love you need. I'm gonna walk you through that first warm up set and get you guys ready to go. So, our work set consists of some sumo squats. So, again, with that sumo squat, I'm gonna get into that slightly wider stance. Toes are gonna be turned out, I'm gonna stand tall, give those glutes a little bit of a squeeze. I'm gonna take my hips down to my heels, but I'm gonna press out on those knees a little extra. So I'm going to take my hips back and down, knees go out, torso stays super upright, I'm going to stop for a second, and then I'm going to stand up nice and slow. So I have a 3-1-3 three, tempo, so a 3-2-1, one, one second pause, and then a 3-2-1 stance. So again from the side, stance didn't change. My hips are going to go back and down a bit. My chest stays upright. 
just like any other squat. The only difference is my knees go, or sorry, my feet go a little wider. Okay. So take your time with those, feel them out, make sure you're feeling good and opening up those hips and working on that good squat tissue because we have a few squats to do today. From there, I'm in that sumo stance, I'll step it out a little bit wider and I'm gonna work that side lunge again. So we're using this again to open up the ankles and those hips. So take this slow, we got 10 reps. I'm gonna take my hip to my heel, but thinking hip going back and down, chest staying high, opening up that ankle, and then standing tall. So as I'm taking my hip back and down, I'm trying to stay again loaded over top of my laces so that I'm staying right centered to my foot. I'm not too forward to my toe. I'm not too heel. I'm just nice and square over top of that midfoot, which is going to allow me to get the most balance and that most press through that foot all right, and leg and action. So use that nice balance. And again, it's a great way to open up the ankles. From there, we're gonna bring our feet in a little bit. We're gonna work through our back lunge. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see this one. My feet are about squat stance or just outside my hip stance. And I'm gonna step back, lower down, and stand tall. Alternating, so I'll step back, lower down, and tall. So again, as I step back, I'm checking to see where my knee is stacked over my heel. From there, I'm going to lower straight down, keeping everything stacked, and come through. So this is a great way to kind of isolate that distance I need to step. All right, a little more challenging for balance, but it allows us to see where we need to be for that alignment. Okay. If you're more comfortable, again, working on that standing lunge drill that we've been working on, Toe pointing straight ahead, heel off the ground, and then just lowering down, okay? Rock that instead, all right? Work that, make it work for you, challenge your lunge, but choose an exercise that's gonna make it better over the long haul, okay? Or warm you up better for today's workout. Our next exercise is our side scale, so a little bit of balance work. So I'm gonna shift my weight to that balancing leg. I'm gonna try and stay nice and straight up the body and I'm gonna point that toe, and I'm going to lift, bring it back down. Lift, back down. You'll notice I'm not swinging it up, all right? I am actively using that glute to pull the leg up and bring it back down. So try and use as little momentum as we can. You'll do three on one side, you'll shift your weight, you'll do three on the other side, balancing that out. Right after that, we're gonna go into our front scale. So this is super important too. I'm gonna to show you, this side is gonna be my balancing leg. We wanna watch out for this right here. Lifting the leg too high so that knee buckles. What we wanna try and do is keep that leg straight, but not locked out or hyperextended, but straight so that as I lift my leg, this leg stays straight. I may not be able to get my leg as high as I can if I bend my knee, but it's more about the engagement through the quad than how high you get your leg. So focus your attention on that balancing leg as well. Don't let that one just sort of disappear on the wayside and focus on the lifting leg. Think about the other one as well. A good glute squeeze can help solve that issue. Quick little recall, or recap I should say. Sumo squat, three reps at a three to one, three, one, three tempo. Side lunge for 10 alternating into a back lunge or a standing lunge. Uh, 10 reps. If you're doing the standing, do five per side. All right. Side scale raise for three, front scale raise for three, two to three rounds. Take that through, warm those legs up, get those things going, ankles, knees, hips, all that stuff ready to go. Pause the video, hit that up. I'm going to move into the next phase where we're going to use a little bit of upper plus a little bit of lower. All right. So pause, hit it up, come back and join me. I'm going to move into our inchworm push up. So we're just joining two movements together. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. I get myself set up. I'm going to hinge at my hips, trying to keep my legs as straight as I can. I'm going to walk myself out into my plank. I'm going to establish my tight plank position, ribs, hips, shoulders, and then I'm going to execute a push-up. And then I'll walk myself back in. Nice and tall. You can add in a big stretch overhead if you'd like. But the biggest thing, you guys, is establishing that good plank position before executing the push-up. If you're looking at this going, I don't have a 
go push up. Uh, what you can do, again, same thing. We walk ourselves out, hit that good solid plank, ribs, hips, tight core, shoulders solid, lower the knees, push up, back into your plank, and then walk your hands back in. And then you're done. Okay, so two options there. If you're like, I usually do my push ups on like a table or a chair, then what you can do for me. Three inchworms working on the walkout, and then three push ups to separate the two exercises so you can get the best of both worlds and maintain good position. After that, we're going to stretch the arms and the hamstrings out, so we're going to get back into our sumo stance. I'm going to turn one toe and one toe, get into that nice dynamic triangle position. Hand up overhead, nice and tight. I'm going to pull the hips back, and I'm going to travel down my shin. Taking it as deep as I can, keeping that body nice and long. I'm gonna rise up, pressing that hand up to the ceiling. So as I pull my hip back, I'm always activating my arm towards the sky. And then I'm gonna rise back up to the lower body as I come back into that vertical position. Okay, so active overhead, initiating the body shift with the hip, but always pressing up so we can keep the arm pointing to the ceiling regardless of the motion that I'm looking for. We're gonna look at three per side on that. If you'd like to load it, you're more than welcome to. Our last exercise in this piece is again, another chance to kind of open up the ankles and the hips um, in our narrow squat hold. So I'm gonna get my feet in my narrow stance position. Right? From there, I'm just going to squat well, setting up a good position, and I'm gonna hold the bottom of that position for 20 seconds. Staying weighted through my midfoot, my knees are tracking my toes. I'm trying to keep my chest up as I possibly can. Once I've finished that, I will stand with a good squat and then continue on again. So just as a recap from the side, you may not get in deep in this position in the squat hold, but that's okay. Take it to where you can maintain your position. So again, I pull my hips back and down, so I'm trying to sit down to my heel. I find my end range, I'm staying active, and I'm staying strong through my upper body. All right, and then once I accumulate my hold, I'll stand, hips and shoulders coming together, and then move through. All right. If you can't do a full 20 in a row, accumulate 20 seconds in two holds, all right, but make sure we're coming out of that good squat. All right. Recap on that, inch warm out, push up, three to five, Dynamic triangle, three per side, and then a narrow squat hold for 20 seconds. Two rounds, and we're gonna move into our last little warm up and work set piece, which is gonna build that thruster a little bit more. So what we have for you guys is our dumbbell front squat. So I have my dumbbell, all right? Actually, I should say dumbbell pause front squat. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna clean the dumbbell up, <laughs> getting it into position. My feet are in my squat stance. I'm going to take it down to the bottom of the squat. I'm going to hold for three, two, one, stand tall. Take it down, hold for three, two, one, stand tall. So again, I'm pressing into the dumbbell a little bit, keeping it active and keeping my upper body tight, keeping my knees slightly out so I can maintain my position, and I'm working on keeping my foot, or sorry, balance, midfoot balance. After that third hold, so that third squat, I'm going to come down and work a thruster. So I'm going to do a good squat, stand press, using that momentum to drive the dumbbell overhead. So I pull down, good front squat, press overhead, back down, come back down. Okay. So there's no pause, there's no tempo on the thruster, but we do want to make sure that the squat is a little slower. All right, so that we can control the down, so we set ourselves up for a good stand and press. All right, there's no point trying to go down fast if you're losing your balance and all over the place. We want to make sure we're establishing a good base foundation for that drive and press. Quick little recap on that. We have our dumbbell pause front squat, three reps at a three second hold at the bottom, into three thrusters. If you're using a single dumbbell, do all three and three on one side, Flip sides, three and three, rest a little bit, then knock off that next round. We're looking anywhere, two to three rounds for that. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. Two to three rounds of that, and then you're gonna get yourself ready for the workout. 
So pause the video, take down that last work set, that skill set, and then we're gonna move you into the movement of the exercise or the workbook. So what we have for you guys is the thruster, the high pull, and the burpee. So the thruster we just talked about, I'm just gonna knock off a couple. If you are doing the thruster, all right, in the workout with a single dumbbell, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do half reps on one side, half reps on the other side. So it's gonna look like so. I clean it up, I do one thruster, two, three, we'll say that's 11, 11, I come down, switch sides, 12, 13, 14, all the way up to 21. Once I do my 21, I'm gonna go into my dumbbell high pull or my pullover. The big thing with the thruster today, you guys, we're focusing the mass majority of the uh, volume on the squat. The overhead, if you have a single dumbbell, just worry about half reps and half reps. Don't worry about the overhead position so much. The squat is gonna get the work set um, fully today. Okay, if you have two dumbbells, you're gonna rock two-handed thrusters, right? But then you're gonna come down to a single arm high pull, okay? So the next exercise is a high pull. So you're gonna stand tall, holding tight through the core, tight through the glutes, holding that single dumbbell. We're gonna work on pulling to the high, Two, so high and outside, pulling up to the sternum with that nice strict high pull. If by chance the dumbbell you have is too heavy to do that strict, what you can work on is a little bit of momentum. You can take it to the knee and then we can stand tall, come back down. To the knee, come back up. So we get a little bit almost like a clean high pull and we're working on that nice vertical pull for the tricep and the shoulder. You'll do half reps, switch sides, either the strict variation, where we get that elbow high, dumbbell coming to the sternum slash chest, or depending on the dumbbell, if it's too heavy for the strict variation, take it to the knee, you stand up, you get a little bit of momentum, but all pull with that high pull, okay? We're not pulling it high, we're just hitting it to that position and bringing it back down. So there's no static pull with the squat. If you'd like to do the pullover instead, what we got for you guys, I'm gonna lay it down. We got two variations of the dumbbell pullover. Both variations start from the same position. My feet flat, just outside of my fingers. My head is down, my low back is pressed against the floor. I'm gonna set up the dumbbell, elbows out. I'm gonna press against that dumbbell bringing it down overhead, keeping the arms straight with soft elbows, and then overhead. So working that active press against the dumbbell on the way down, and then using those lats to press the dumbbell back up. The other option for a little bit more range of motion, I'm gonna hold the bell, I'm gonna pull back, touch the bell to the floor, same motion. The only difference is pulling the dumbbell to the side it's going to give me a little bit more range for that shoulder to explore. The motion is the same, the activation is the same, you just have to hold the dumbbell a little differently. Okay. So that's a choice if you'd like to do that instead of the high pull. The high pull is a nice variation just to change it up a little bit. You're going to get a different feel in the trap, the tricep, than you would in that pullover. Okay. So from there, our last exercise is everyone's favorite. The burpee, lovely thing, all right? So I'm gonna show you a couple burpees, make sure you're comfortable with some different options, and then we'll continue on and turn you loose on the work set. So I'm gonna stand nice and tall. We're gonna take ourselves into that tall burpee position, chest and thigh touch, nice little clap. We also have that step back variation, so the hands come down, step and lower, and step and stand, or we have our squat thrust variation. So we have the hands coming down, popping into our plank, popping into our squat stance. We have our step back into our plank, jump in, or we have our step back, step in. So I step back, step in, stand, and clap. So lots of different options there for the burpees, you guys. Take your time, focus on that burpee. The triceps are gonna be a little blown up after the thruster the high pull, same idea, the thruster 
and the pullover is also going to cause a little bit of extra upper body uh, fatigue. So take those burpees steady, 21, 15, 9 is not too many burpees, so you can keep them steady and still move forward and not lose a lot of time. Have fun with this one, you guys. It's going to be a quick gasser. It's not going to take very long. But remember, 21 thrusters, 21 high pulls or pullovers, 21 burpees, 15, 15, 15, 9, 9, 9, done. All right. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone. Looking forward to hearing how this one goes. And we're going to come back with a solid Monday of strength work for you guys coming next week. Have a great day, you guys.